seeing it. A lot of people yesterday were uh, talking about how much taller you were than Woodley. Is that a factor? You think that could that be a factor in the fight at all? Yeah, I think it can be for sure. But Woodley, he's used it also to fight, you know, taller guys like he fought Wonder Boy. So, of course, he knows how to deal with that. But I, if I can use this well, of course, can be, you know, something to play on my side. Talk to us a little bit, a bit about this journey because it's almost like you've been on this pathway where you win a fight and everyone goes, all right, Damien's going to have the title shot now. Then you don't get the title shot. Then they throw another killer at you. He's going to get the title shot now. Then you don't get it again. Were you ever frustrated during that time? Did you ever think, I may never get the second title shot? Yeah, no, I always believed that I would, would get the second. But of course, I was very frustrated. But what I learned with the experience and the years in the UFC is that you know, I cannot let this frustration take take my my soul and, and you know and control me. So it's easy to say, hard to do, but you know, lately in the last years, I was able to do that. You know, to control this frustration and just keep going. Did it ever get close to the point where it did sort of, as you say, take your soul or really got into your head? Did you ever have a low? Where you, where you thought this may never happen and this is really, really frustrating now. No, I never. I always believed that I was going to get the title shot. Sometimes I feel that my team was even more frustrated than I was and that was, you know, sometimes heavy for me because, you know, they are so good in what they do and I, and I like them so much and they, were, they are one of the reasons that I, you know, got to this level that, you know, I was kind of uncomfortable. But as soon as we start another camp, everything goes away and we, you know, we just believe again. But Damien, how about you, you get the title shot and it's on short notice? I mean, did you say, come on guys, <laughs> I forgot all this way. Yeah, you, you know, when I get the title five weeks ago, we said, come on guys, let's, you know, if we're talking about the end of August and then, actually, you know, I would prefer September, of course, everybody knows, you know, Everybody, all you guys know, and all you guys are specialists, and know that a, a camp, especially for a title fight, can't be less than 10 weeks. But the good thing is that I always keep training. I never really stop to train. So even, you know, after the fight, I was traveling, giving seminars. I was in LA in my affiliate school here, but I was training with the guys, gi, you know, gi, and lifting some weight. So that was a good thing. I didn't came from nowhere, nothing to, you know, 100%. So that helps, but of course five weeks, five weeks is not the ideal, but that's what we have and that's where we're gonna, you know, be prepared to do on Saturday. He's fought some of the best guys in the world. Where does Tyron rank on that on that list of people? I think he's as good as all these guys like Carlos Coney and and Mas Vidal and and you know he's Jake Shields, all this he's pretty good. He's pretty good. That is a reason that he's the champion, like I said before. And I really don't know how we're gonna match up our styles, you know, on Saturday. It's something that will be maybe surprise for me, surprise for him. I don't know, you know. Let's see on Saturday. People talk about his striking, of course, his power, but he came from a wrestling base. How, what do you think about his grappling? I mean, obviously that's just yeah. he's a good grappler, especially a good wrestler. But I'm pretty confident on my confident on my wrestling because you know I've been training with the best wrestlers. I've been coming to United States since after my Anderson loss. To, to train wrestling, so I also developed a lot, and I, I, I had a chance to train with great, great wrestler, college wrestler, uh, uh, championship and Olympic wrestler. So in here, United States. So you know, I, I feel pretty confident with that. You've had some struggles in five round fights before. Uh, what are tweaks have you made to make sure that this does go the distance? It comes out your way. Yeah, I think you know, uh, it's the last five rounds fight that I did. Conte, of course, but he didn't go five rounds with La Flair. I think I did well, especially because I was coming back from my shoulder problem, you know, and I did five rounds controlling other rounds with a guy who is very skilled and very with a very good stamina. So, uh, and I trained a year ago to a five rounds fight against Conte, so I'm pretty confident that, you know, I will be able to handle those five rounds well. Yeah, not only can you win the belt here, but you can tie the record for most wins in UFC history with Michael Bisbeck. Yeah. Uh, what does just this whole thing mean to you? I think if you get a submission, you'll tie the record for most submissions. Yeah. It's just the whole thing. Yeah, that's something that I was thinking a couple weeks ago. But this week I just tried to take this away from my mind because this will 
maybe make me lose a little bit of my focus and I don't want that. So I just, you know, would be great, of course, if I win, especially for submission because all these records. Mm -hmm. But records, you know, will be broken one day and, and the thing that, you know, if I get will be more, mine forever will be the belt. So the most important is to do well, to fight well, to do my best to get this belt on Saturday. You have fought for a title before. Did you go back and revisit that fight and re kind of see what lessons you could learn? And Sorry? You fought ah, for a title before. Uh -huh. Did you go back and revisit that fight and, and sort of yes, see what you could Yes, I learn? didn't watch again, but of course, you know, I was thinking, not not for this camp, but all these years, all the mistakes that I had in that fight. There were so many mistakes that I made, not for just for the fight, but especially before the fight in the camp. <laughs> Technically and mentally, and you know, a lot of things that you know, one day I will say, What is that? Because it's too long history. But, and of course, I learned from that. And I'm not gonna make the same mistakes again. It doesn't mean I go in there and I'm gonna win or lose, but I'm not gonna make the same mistakes. If you if you said that it was it was too short notice for this fight only five weeks, was the UFC just gonna move on without you and give someone else a title shot? Yeah, I think so. Or I think yeah, because they need somebody to fight George, you know, Saint Pierre in, in November. So they, they would put somebody in. If I let this pass, who knows if I would get you know the title again you know so I, I couldn't I couldn't just say no I'm gonna wait right now so I said okay five weeks let's do the best we can do in five weeks how do you feel about Tyron okay. because uh, it seems like he was looking for a fight with a lot of other people for UFC 214 were you bothered by the fact that it took so long for you to finally get this title shot like Mark said five weeks out and what are your feelings about him as champion for not really wanting to fight you for such a long time you being the last option for him to fight you at UFC 214 in, you know everybody here nobody is is stupid here all you guys know that who decides is the UFC is not the champion right and if UFC decides that or if Tyron say he decides that, actually, we know that UFC decides that, it's not the champion. So, you know, I don't care, I just, I just ready to do what I need to do.